Mary Teresa Barra, the chair and CEO of General Motors Company, was born on 24 December 1961. She was born into a Finnish lineage of Royal Oak, Michigan, the village of Kankapa in Satakunta, the formal capital city of Kolio. Mary's father, Ray Barra, married a young Finnish American named Eva Paikanin. Mary's father worked for 39 years at the Pontiac Car Factory in Detroit, and the family lived in Waterford, Michigan. Mary attended Waterford schools in Michigan. She graduated from Waterford Mott High School. Mary graduated from the General Motors Institute, now Kettering University, where she obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering, and in 1990, she proceeded for a Master's in Business Administration degree in Stanford Graduate School of Business on a GM Fellowship. In 1980, in a bid to pay for college tuition, Mary had started working for General Moto as a co-op student, while still at the age of 18. Her commitment to work earned her the opportunity of manning different engineering and administrative positions, including managing the Detroit Hamtrak assembly plant. In February 2008, Mary became Vice President of Global Manufacturing Engineering. In July 2009, she was promoted to the position of Vice President of Global Human Resources which she held until February 2011, when she was named Executive Vice President of Global Product Development. The latter position included responsibilities for design. She has worked to reduce the number of automobiles platforms in GM. In August 2013, her responsibility as the Vice President was extended to include global purchasing and supply chain. In January 2014, Mary became the first female head of an automobile manufacturer. Her first year in office as CEO saw General Motors issue 84 safety recalls involving over 30 million cars. Mary was summoned to the Senate to testify about the recalls and debts attributed to the faulty ignition switch. Mary and General Motors also came under suspicion of paying for awards to dent the CEO and corporation's image during that time. As the company waxed in technology, Mary acquired the automated driverless car space with major acquisitions including Strobe, a startup focused on driverless technology for GM. In 2017, she pushed GM to the development of the Chevrolet Bolt EV, beating rival Tesla in developing the first electric car priced under $40,000 with a range of 200 miles. Mary became the highest paid Detroit 3 executives in 2017 with a total remuneration of $21.96 million. Under her leadership in November 2018, she announced the closure of five North American plants and 14,000 worker layoffs, a tough decision that President Donald Trump frowned upon. Mary was also elected into the board of Disney in August 2017, being the 12th person elected to this board and the fourth woman. In addition to her previously held position as a member of the General Dynamics Board of Directors, Mary also serves in various capacities such as Board of Directors of the Detroit Economic Club and Detroit Country Day School, member of the Business Council, member of the Stanford University Board of Trustees and the Stanford Graduate School of Business Advisory Council. Apart from the outstanding position so far held, Mary has also secured herself such great honors, numerous to mention as the 35th on Forbes Most Powerful Women's List in 2013, second most powerful in 2018. In May 2014, she received an honorary degree after she delivered the commencement address for University of Michigan's Ann Arbor campus at Michigan Stadium. Also in 2018, she received another honorary doctorate from Duke University. Mary also landed the first position in Fortune's Most Powerful Women List in 2015, up from the second year before and remained in the number one spot in Fortune's Most Powerful Women of 2017 and number five on Forbes World's 100 Most Powerful Women list in the same year. In April 2014, Mary was featured on Time Magazine among the 100 most influential people in the world. In December 2016, Mary joined a business forum assembled by the then president-elect Donald Trump to provide strategic and policy advice on economic issues. She left the forum in 2017 following Trump's response to the Charlottesville protests. In September 2018, Mary received a leadership award as the Yale Chief Executive Leadership Institute's legend. Mary is happily married to consultant Tony Barra, whom she met while studying at Kettering University. The couple have two children and two dogs. They live in Northville, a suburb of Detroit, USA. Mary's all-time favorite cars are the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird. Thank you very much for watching our videos. 
we'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.